that's the fun part about magic. Get all caught up in it. And forget about what's going on in the real world. Like, where did I park my car? Or what are they doing to it right now? I mean, you know that's rare in our lives. Because oftentimes we're thinking about the way things used to be. Or the way things might be, say, next week if something was just a little bit different. That's why I'm talking about relationships. And not the kind of relationship that you have with a bank teller or the laugh that you might share over a lunch counter. I'm talking about those relationships that really make your heart sing. Those relationships are like living things. Almost like a seedling. If you plant a seedling under concrete, it will crack and grow right through. You can also crush the life out of it between two fingers. It's delicate. It's as delicate as a piece of thread. And just as easily broken. relationships can end for a lot of different reasons. Trust me, I know. I once demanded great beauty. You won't let me figure out who I really am, I said. You're intellectually dull and your cooking is mundane. <laughs> she said. <laughs> but, and worst of all, please don't go. I can't live without you. And oftentimes, our relationships end in this kind of destruction. But we keep hoping, keep wishing, keep trying to undo the things that we've done trying to take back the things that we had said in hopes that we could simply restore what had been destroyed.